Welcome back to SolidWorks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, we are going to make this 3D model using this 2D drawing. So before starting the video, if you are new and have not subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. Watch the complete video. Let's start. First of all, we are going to make this 200 mm horizontal and this 38 plus radius 13 vertical length. And we will also make this step of the length 10 mm and the width 5 mm. So let's start. First of all, select millimeter units from here. Select the front plane, go to sketch, select the midpoint line like this and give it the value of 203 divided by 2. So now make the vertical line of 10 mm. and horizontal line of again 5 mm now again make the vertical length of 10 and 5 mm horizontal length now simply drag this line toward upside and select the smart dimension select this vertex and this line and give the value of 38 plus 13 so now you can see that the 13 was the radius we have included with the 38 so now we have to make this internal sketch. So the width of this sketch is 13. So we will make the sketch of 13 mm width. Now we will make this line and we will give it the value of 51 minus 13. 51 is the total length and 13 is the length from the this vertex to this. So the total length we have got is 38. Now we will simply mirror this, uh, these entities using center line or mirror entities command. So we have made a center line here and we are going to mirror these entities about the center line. So select mirror entities from here, select the entities you want to mirror in this tab like this. Now we have to mirror about this center line so select this tab and select mirror about and select ok. So now you can see that our sketch have been made. Now simply select this vertex and this vertex and now our sketch has been closed. This grey area is showing the closed sketch. So exit the sketch, go to feature, select the extrude from here, select the mid plane. So we are going to use the mid plane because we have to use mirror commands and with the mid plane our reference planes like front plane, top and right plane are in the place or in the middle of the part. So we do not have to move the, move the reference planes. So the total depth is of 70 mm. So we are giving it the value of 70 mm from here. So now you can see our base is ready. Now we are going to make these fillets of radius 13 and the 4 cross dia 8 drill holes. So first of all select the fillet command, select this edge and select the other 3 edges to make the fillet. So the fillet is of 13 mm, we have gave the value of 13 here and select ok. Now select this face and we are going to make the 4 cross 8 dia drill holes. Now select circle and drag your mouse toward this fillet and you will got this center point and give the radius of 4 so that 4 cross 2 is equal to 8. Now select ok from here go to exit sketch and select extrude command and select throw all both. You can also use the blind command but we are going to use through all select ok. So now our base part is ready. Now we have to make these circle. So we do not have the center distance from here. So as you can see we just know that this circle is tangent to this line. So we are going to use the tangent constraint. First of all we will make the circle of radius 32 and dia 35. Select the front plane again and select this circle and make the radius of 32 and dia 35. 
So, now simply select this circle and this vertex or line and make these tangent. So, now you can see our circle have been ready. Now, what we will do is we are going to simply extrude it with the mid plane and give it the value of 76. Select OK from here. So, now our circle is ready and you can see that the depth of the circle is 76 mm. So, our 80 percent part is ready. Now, we are going to simply make these ribs like this. We are going to use the rib command. Again select the front plane, go to sketch command. Now, select the line from here. So, start the line from the center of the circle and drag it toward the inner part of the of this shape. So, make sure that your line is intersecting the part. So, that rib feature will work. If you will make it and, uh, to this point or line, your rib feature will not work. So, I am going to drag it inward and select this line and this point so that we can get the accurate rib like this and drag it toward little bit upward. Now, what we will do is we will go to exit sketch and simply go to the rib command. So, the rib width is 13 mm select ok. So, now from here you can see the rib width of 13 mm. Now, what we will do is we will simply mirror this rib command with the we are going to mirror it about right plane select ok. So, now you can see that our ribs are ready. Now, we have to make this fillet with the radius 6. So, select the fillet command, select these edges like this and give it the value of 6 mm, select ok. So, now you can see our part is ready with a simple rib and boss extrude command. So, this was a simple tutorial of SOLIDWORKS size number 10. Thank you for watching, keep supporting and keep sharing for the more interesting videos.